Just about 442 on your Friday. So we have made it. We are here. The weekend, it is just so close. A live look outside from our Science Center camera. So we are waking up to some chilly temperatures. However, this is really nothing in comparison to what's in store. We're starting off, though, with some snow. So notice here we have these northwest winds just kind of pushing this snow in our direction as it sinks down from PA. So Washington County, you are just about covered here. Northern portions of Frederick County and then a little sliver there of Carroll County, even into Baltimore County. And that will continue throughout the morning. So there's the possibility for visibility to be pretty tough when that snow is falling and then even could get a light coating on the road. So watch for slick spots as well. Now later on though, we did issue this alert day for this evening into tonight into tomorrow morning because of the dangerously low wind chills. Right now we're not doing too bad. Temperatures are above freezing. So we're actually warmer than where we were yesterday at this time when most of us were in the 20s. 38 right now in Baltimore, 38 in Annapolis. The winds, though, we can see that they are starting to pick up in the wake of that front. So we have these northwest winds here all across the state. That cold front has pushed across, and now things are really starting to change up. So you'll notice these are the sustained winds right now. It is blustering Hagerstown, 21 miles an hour, 14 in Frederick, 17 in Westminster. So remember, combine gusty winds with snow falling, and that can create those almost blizzard-like conditions where it's just really difficult to see out there. Eight miles an hour in Baltimore, but we know that is really going to pick up as the day goes on. Taking a look at the big picture, there's the culprit there, that cold front that has since pushed on through, and you can see this band of snow just being blown all the way. It's the lake effect snow being blown all the way down in our direction. Timing things out on the future cast. So we do end up with a beautiful dose of sunshine, of course, once we're done with the snow. And that's the case into tomorrow. But the clear sky is just not able to warm us up at all. We're talking afternoon temperatures right around 32 degrees. So we have already hit the highs for the day since we're starting off in the upper 30s and the low 40s. But it really does deteriorate through the afternoon. And then tonight, though, is when it becomes a more serious situation as we're going to plummet down into the low teens. Factoring in the winds, though, it's going to feel near zero. I do want to send it over to Christy Breslin, though, for first alert traffic on this Friday. Hello, Christy.